You know, I began to realize the magnitude of the coronavirus and its impact on the arts when Carolina Ballet had to make the necessary, very tough decision to postpone the remainder of our season. Um, to a nonprofit, these circumstances pose an unprecedented challenge that has forced us as artists to adapt. Um, as I continue to spend time away from the studios, I find myself accepting the difficulty of these circumstances and appreciating the career I have at Carolina Ballet. Um, as many of us are, I'm a creature of habit. I mean, I absolutely love getting up, going to class, going to rehearsals, the performances at night, and without that structure, I'm trying to grasp at some sort of normalcy again. Maybe it's ballet bar in my kitchen in the morning or going for a run outside or maybe catching up onto a ballet class on the Zoom virtual platform or something like that. So I just, yeah, I wanna thank everyone who has supported the arts. If you've come to a performance, if you've encouraged a child in your life to dance, um, I know live performances have the power to move you into another bit more beautiful world than we usually live in. Um, so just a couple months ago, actually, it seems like a decade ago, but I had the chance to experience Zalman Raphael's Rhapsody in Blue from the audience instead of on stage or from the wings as I usually would as a dancer. And during the Parada, there was this moment where the height of the lift and the peak of the music met and everyone around me, myself included, just gasped. We inhaled, like it was this beautiful moment and I could not believe that we were all experiencing this together. I think it's moments like that that we work so tirelessly for, and but we're missing right now together as a community. Um, we're missing whatever gives us that mental break from reality.